Hi, this is Mike, and this is a quick intro to My Balsamic. We'll get started by logging into our site and creating a new project. Click the Add New Project button here and fill out the New Project dialog by entering a name and description and picking out a cover style, which we can use to pick out the project from the home page. On the New Project page, we can start by adding a new mockup, which opens the Mockups Editor with a new blank mockup here. We can use the text area at the bottom to enter any wireframe annotations. And we can hide the mockup notes here and then start building our mockup. Once we save, we can give the mockup a, a name. Use the Save uh, menu here, and then a preview will show up in the project browser. So I went ahead and create, added a new, uh, another new mockup here, and I'm going to save this one, um, giving it a name and clicking this uh, checkbox to add a version note which will get um, sent around to my team and then save and close both of these mockups. I can also upload mockups that I worked on using um, mockups for desktop um, by using the upload drop down menu and finding uh, my BMML files which will then upload in the background so I can continue working. When all my uploads are done, the mockups will show up in my project page. Then I can do things like use the action menu here to rename mockups. Um, using the rename will uh, preserve any, any links. I can also use drag and drop to um, reorder mockups in my deck. And once in, I'm in the single mockup view, I can do drag and drop in the sidebar. And I can also use these uh, previous and next navigators to step through the wireframes in my deck. We also let you uh, propose alternate versions of this mockup in the comments here. Um, clicking Propose Alternate Mockups opens the mockup in the editor. You can make some changes and then save. Save alternate mockup and close here. And then add a comment to describe your changes. Click Add Comment and then your mockup shows up in the comment stream. Um, and then people can reference the original that this modifies. I'm going to add a comment here that says, let's promote this, it looks good, and then click the Promote to Main Mockup link underneath the alternate, and then that becomes the main mockup here, replacing the last version. If I click the View Mockup History button uh, link, I mean, we can see the stream of changes here and even roll back to restore earlier versions using the Restore button. We can set the access control for the project using the little slider here and invite new members to the project using the Project Men Members drop-down. Center their email addresses and then they'll get invited to join the project. We also have an Assets Manager. Clicking Assets here opens the dialog where I can upload reusable assets like this logo here I'm going to upload. I'm going to close the dialog and then uh, go back to editing this mockup. And if I add an image uh, to this mockup, the, um, the image dialog will show that the, um, the logo that I uploaded is available here, and I can reuse that in any of my project assets, uh, project mockups here. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the global navigation here by creating links between all the mockups. And then once all the links are in place, you can um, create simple click-through prototypes as you do in desktop in full screen mode. And um, once you save your mockups with all these links in place, you can head back to the HTML view. So we're going to save and close this mockup editor and head back to the regular project view. And we can start to click through the prototype here. Then you can also launch this, this project as a prototype, which gets rid of all the um, My Balsamic wrapper, and then you can just use it as a click-through prototype. And that's all there is to it.